So uh, most people know that uh, a bit of my background, but for those that don't, uh, I have lupus and Crohn's and I also am insulin dependent diabetic. I have had uh, lupus, I have SLE, uh, so lupus is attacking my heart. I've had two heart attacks in the past year. My most recent one was just in February. I've had two stents put in my LAD. Um, just to kind of bit of give a little bit of my kind of daily life, uh, I am on approximately 16 prescribed medications per day. This is my blister pack. I take 109 pills per week, um, not including supplements. Um, and then I have like nitro and I take four needles a day uh, for my diabetes. I test four times a day. So that's another four pokes a day. And uh, I was prior to the socks on uh, different drugs. Like I went through big bottles of Advil like this a month, oxycodone. So since introduced to a simple pair of, of socks, um, with the, as everybody knows, I talk about these all the time, the technology in them um, increase, increases your balance, stability, range of motion, provides wellness benefits. It's taken away my uh, joint pain. Um, with me, lupus was also attacking my central nervous system. Um, originally, when uh, years and years and years and years ago, when uh, before they found out I had lupus, I actually woke up one day, I was like paralyzed on half of my body. Um, they thought I had MS and um, I went through testing and everything like that. I've gone through MS testing actually as recent as a couple of years ago. They retested me for MS again, um, MRIs and stuff looking for lesions. Um, lupus actually can attack similar to MS. Um, I, I would go through like, it, it's hard to explain to someone, but um, you'd be walking and it's like your brain forgets to tell your leg to move. Um, I'd fall. Um, all of, it's just my leg would just quit on me. Um, it would move and it, you know, as you're walking and all of a sudden your leg just stops, like it just throws you off, you'd fall, um, that type of thing. So, um, or I just lose my balance, um, just have like a joint give out on me, that type of thing. Um, so since having the socks, uh, my balance has greatly improved my stability. Um, I would say I haven't had a fall, but two weeks ago, I kind of had a fall hiking. Can't blame the socks for that, it was a tree root. So unless Jay wants to add little alarms on there that warns you that a tree root's coming, um, step over it, Terry, look down. Uh, I'm klutzy, so. <laughs> Anyway, um, but I haven't had a fall on based on my legs giving out on me or any of those things since having them. So, and like I said, pain wise, uh, I don't go through big bottles of, Ad, of Advil and I have not taken a narcotic pain medication um, since having the socks and everything. And good news that I got today is I was at my neurologist appointment today and I get to take 35 pills out of this. I'm getting two medications taken away. I get chronic migraines. Uh, it's another symptom of lupus. Um, I get lupus headaches. Um, I get like migraines almost daily. I used to get migraines almost daily. Since wearing my socks, I don't get migraines anymore. Um, I've had a couple where I have a slight headache, um, even with the weather, like the spring is usually really, really bad, especially with all the rain and everything. I haven't gotten, uh, the migraines and everything that I usually get and everything. So there, and I take, um, two different drugs, um, as like a preventative to try to prevent migraines. Um, they would uh, stop them from, from me getting them on a daily basis, but I still, like, I, I can be a weather man. Like, I can predict when, like, pressure changes and when we're getting a storm because I'm guaranteed to get a migraine. And I haven't been getting them at all since wearing the socks. So um, she's actually taking me off those. So uh, that's five pills a day. So um, 35 pills a week. So I'm weaning off of them. I'm not t just stopping them all at once. I'm stopping one totally uh, today. And uh, well, technically as of tomorrow. And uh, 
and then the other one would take another pill every two weeks that we go down so I will be off of them totally within the next month or so so uh, I'm very 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 happy about that that's two prescriptions off the list and I went off of one technically five months ago so um, the more drugs I can get taken off of from my drug-free um, remedy works for me so I'm, I'm very 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 excited about that so um, anyway uh, it's just been life-changing for me. Uh, nobody has any idea how it is to live with chronic pain. Um, I, I'm trying not really hard not to cry, but to uh, like be bedridden or in pain or like to be a mom and have kids and not be able to play with them and do things with them that you want to do with them. Like it's horrible, horrible, horrible. And I am so thankful to Jay Dollywall for what he's done because it's like to have energy and not be tired and to be able to get up and not be in pain. And I wear my socks 24 seven and I hate socks. Like I'm, I'm sorry, I saw some, I'm selling socks now, but I, I am not a sock wearer and I wear them 24 seven because I hate being in pain and everything worse than wearing socks. So, and I tell everybody that, that I, because lots of people are, it's the summer and they don't want to wear socks. And I say, what would you rather do be in pain or put something simple on as a pair of socks? And uh, it's just been life changing to me. And this is my why to people is, um, it's life-changing.